It is absolutely beautiful from what we've seen outside already. Right, so we've just used the equipment in the gym and one of the things that I really like about this gym is that all of the equipment is very aesthetically pleasing. So as the weather's so nice, we've come outside to come and chill by the pool. There's some nice sun, sun lounges and really nice grass, so... Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Finding Our Adventure. We are still in the Lana region and we are just about to check into the Hotel Svartsmaid. It looks absolutely incredible here, so beautiful, massive big infinity pool just outside the hotel here. We've got views of the mountains and I can't wait to show you what our room looks like. So we've just checked into our room here at the hotel and I'm going to give you a very quick tour. So. As you walk into the room, we've got this huge lounge area with a sofa and a TV and there's loads of storage along this side of the wall. And then follow me into the bathroom. So we've got a bath overlooking the mountains and the church and the vineyards. And then there's also like a nice chill out space here where you can read your books. And then we've got a sink, shower and toilet. And it's basically like a big open living space this area so then from the bathroom you walk straight into the bedroom which looks really nice and cozy got some more storage on the left and then you've got your very own private balcony so this private balcony has got views overlooking the pool we've got some beautiful flowers i think they're wisteria they're like just popping because it's coming into spring and the mountains all around, it's just so pretty. So I hope you enjoyed that quick room tour and we really enjoyed the hotel so far. It is super relaxing. It feels like you're just surrounded by nature and I already feel so peaceful here. So as the weather's so nice, we've come outside to come and chill by the pool. There's some nice sun, sun lounges and really nice grass. So, and the pool is heated, so it doesn't feel as much of a shock to your system when you get in. It's really warm, isn't it? It's really nice, yeah. It's not like too hot, but it's like just right. We have just spent the past few hours chilling by the pool and also just chilling in the room and making the most of this amazing place that we're staying in and we have been so busy the last few days and the last few weeks that it's really nice to have this like downtime and just enjoy this beautiful place but now we're pretty hungry so we're gonna head down to the restaurant and get some dinner so this evening we are eating in la fusina which is the hotel restaurant and they have a four course set menu where you can choose from about three different things and to begin with we have got our starters and i have got a bruschetta which has got lots of lovely things on top and johnny has got a salad So our next course has arrived and I have got the white onion cream soup and Johnny has got the poached egg. So now the main has arrived and we've both gone for the same thing. We've got roasted veal which comes with Brussels sprouts, bacon and sage. We just had a lovely dinner. All the food is absolutely spectacular and it all tasted so fresh and delicious. And they were telling us that they grow most of the food locally here on site at the hotel, which was really cool to learn. But now we're gonna go to sleep because we have had a very long day and we are feeling pretty tired. So see you in the morning. Good morning. So I've just been for a morning swim and it was so relaxing and a great way to start the day. And I'm just going to show you around some of the facilities here at the hotel. So where I am right now, we're in the kind of spa area. So there's loads of places to chill. We've also got a nice indoor pool and there's like loads and loads of chairs. And then we have like a decking area that basically faces the whole of the spa. And then you can come outside here 
to the pool which is so nice and it's heated so it does not feel cold at all now we're in the second relaxing room there's even more chairs and it overlooks this like beautiful garden area there's loads of flowers and it just feels completely zen there's a space here where you can grab a drink they've got some lovely water like flavored water like orange and lemons and it's where you get your towels as well and there's also a gym just in here there is also a sauna and now we are going to head to breakfast So we've made it to breakfast and you can order from like a set menu. So I've got some crepes coming and Johnny's got some eggs coming and then everything is really, really fresh. So I've got some strawberries, um, some honeycomb, I've got hot chocolate. And also I think this is a date, so I'm gonna try it all. So we've just finished our delicious breakfast and we've got ready and we're out at the moment on our way to a some wine tasting because um, this region is very well known for their wine and also for the apple growing so we're, it's about a 28 minute walk I think to be precise <laughs> and we're gonna go for a nice stroll through the town we've just arrived at Kranzelhof and um, it is absolutely beautiful from what we've seen outside already there's beautiful gardens it's kind of got like this really nice like rustic feel um, and this beautiful like it's almost like a glass house behind me just everything is just so pretty so we'll show you around in a bit more detail in a minute and we're just going to be meeting with someone who's going to be showing us around it's very old it is from 2006 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's got a yeah, nice it is, old it's, feel uh, to it's, it. Yeah, uh, it's it's built from old wood. Okay. Not everything, but uh, yeah, only the the big. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like things, the timber. Uh, yeah. Last one. And often we say it's forbidden to taste, only nosy. Ah. <laughs> only nosy only because nosy. it's different. No, so become you become very curious and also a bit thirsty. I will give you a half an aurora light. Mm -hmm. So Franz gave us a lovely tour of the old building with the, wi the winery building behind us and we went down in the cellars and we were looking at all the beautiful barrels and he was telling us about these amazing shafts that go right into the mountain and it naturally um, cools, cools it in the summer and warms it in the winter which is absolutely incredible to learn about and now we are doing like just like a self-guided walk around the gardens he said there's lots of surprises and things that hopefully we will really enjoy so we're really excited to have a little explore now we also really enjoyed talking to Franz about um, views on life and how you should live what you want to do and stuff and he was saying that if you've got a child you don't force them to be a doctor if that's what you want them to be you allow them to figure out what they enjoy and encourage them and help them to do that and that's exactly how me and Hannah feel we you know we've always thought that you should do what you love and explore things and try new things out rather than just you know working to earn money obviously that's not for everybody but it's really refreshing to hear some of somebody of an older generation talking like that and yeah we just had such an amazing morning so far doing some wine tasting and now we're just going to really explore these gardens and find all those surprises the gardens here are absolutely amazing there are so many sculptures and just loads of beautiful plants and steps to find and we're just about to head into the maze and hopefully we don't get lost but we probably will get lost so that's all part of the fun of a maze isn't it <laughs> We've made it to the middle of the maze. Now I've got to find our way out. <laughs> How's the maze going, Han? I'm leading us to the exit, I can see it. <laughs> it's in sight, it's just there. How many times have you cheated? There's no way to cheat in a maze. <laughs> you just walk.
so we left the vineyard which we really really enjoyed it was such a relaxing and peaceful morning we just walked back to the hotel and just got changed into some more appropriate gear for our hike that we're going on so we um we it looks really pretty it's got like some nice suspension bridges and it just goes through lots of lovely trees and along the strip of the river i think so we're gonna go and explore that now so before we get to our hike from the hotel we are now just walking through the kind of center of lana and um, it's actually all mostly pedestrianized this bit that we're walking on at the moment there's lots of shops uh, places to eat cafes bakeries pubs just loads there's actually a lot here than we thought there would be which is a nice surprise and also at this time of year i think from the beginning of april and um, the whole of lana goes into bloom so um we're i think a little bit early for that but i bet it looks absolutely beautiful We've just made it to a waterfall and it hasn't, we haven't even been walking that long and we've got to that and now we're about to walk a little bit further and the path is basically following the gorge and the bottom of the valley now so we're going to go and start walking along there now. The bridge actually moves whilst you're walking on it, so I feel like I'm on my tiptoes. But oh, it's so beautiful down here, like the gorge and all the rocks and just the sound of the river. It's very, very nice. We're now walking away from the gorge valley and we're just walking up a little bit of a hill. And when you walk up a hill, it only means you're gonna get a good view. So we're walking to a viewpoint just overlooking Lana and see what it looks like. We've made it to the viewpoint and uh, we can still hear the river just below us. But yeah, it's definitely work, worth walking up here. It was only like a couple minutes to get up here, but yeah, a beautiful view looking at overlooking the valley. So since we've been back from our walk, we've just been chilling in our hotel room. We've got an amazing window overlooking the mountains. We've just been relaxing there. And now we're off out for dinner and neither of us can pronounce the name of the restaurant but yeah, Hannah's... we'll show you on the video maybe so you can attempt to try and say it <laughs> yeah it's really difficult but it's supposed to be a really good re um, restaurant with like locally sourced produce so we're excited to go try it out yeah and it's like a cozy tavern and um so i'm excited to have <laughs> some cozy atmosphere tonight we're both pretty hungry as well so oh, let's yeah. go let's go so this is the name of the restaurant we're eating at tonight so we've made it to our table and where we are sat you can basically watch bunnies eating loads of hay. <laughs> oh, jump up. Okay, so our food has arrived and we went with the feather plate, which is basically like uh, crispy pork, sausage, spare ribs, chips and um, like a cabbage salad. And it looks really good and it's like a sharing platter so it's what they recommend yeah he recommended it so we are gonna enjoy this it looks really good Good morning everybody. We have had a really nice peaceful sleep here in our room. It's actually our last morning here at the hotel, which we're really sad about. But because we've been eating so much great food over the last few days, we're now gonna go down to the gym and have a little bit of a workout session before going to breakfast. You can never sleep in traffic. So we've just used the equipment in the gym and one of the things that I really like about this gym is that all of the equipment is very aesthetically pleasing. It's all like got beautiful wood mostly.
we have had a really nice chilled morning. We've been using the gym and the spa facilities and then we've just had another delicious breakfast which we actually filmed yesterday so we haven't put in this morning. But it's just been so nice staying here and it's really sad because we just packed up the room and we're getting ready to check out. Yeah, so very sad but we are very excited for next week because we're going to be heading into the Dolomites. But that's it for this episode so if you liked it let us know what your favourite bit was in the comments and we'll see you next time. See ya. Thank you.